Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you another cool feature of Proxmox. So this feature is called Templates. Um, and basically what that allows you to do is create a custom configuration like this VM here, this macOS Ventura VM. That is a VM at the moment that we're going to be converting into a template. On the hardware section you can see I passed through my GPU, set some USB up, um, made sure that the disk is correct set the display to none, etc, 8 gigs of RAM um, enabled QEMU guest agent basically set this to a custom configuration same with the actual software so it's Ventura um, I've installed Shermace on it and the legacy patches for the GT630 um, so basically once you've got all of that set up um, we basically all we need to do is right click on that on the VM name, click convert to template, yes, then give it a few moments, done, that's it. So at the side in a minute you'll see it refresh with the different emblem next to it. So templates are useful uh, especially for my use uh, making YouTube videos. So for example if I'm showing a tutorial in Ventura, instead of me installing macOS every time on a new virtual machine, I'll literally just right click like this, clone, and then do a full clone, choose the VM storage that I want it to be on, give it a name, so I'll do USB tests for example, click clone, and then now what that'll do, we double click, is it'll begin to clone itself. Um, and then that VM will be ready to use. Um, I basically boot it up. It'll automatically allocate itself a new IP address and MAC address uh, by default. And basically, um, all you do is find the IP address, VNC into it, or use Shermouse, um, things like that. As easy as, uh, it's brilliant. Um, so I'll wait for this to restore and I'll show you just booting it up. So you can see it says task OK, which basically in Proxmox means that it's uh, finished the task. Um, so if we close this dialog now, you can see USB tests is now here. And if you look here, the, the exact same uh, configuration. Um, and what I'm going to do now is actually boot up the virtual machine and actually uh, show you it fully working. So sorry about the angles on this, but if I click start on that virtual machine now that we just restored, uh, we should get a display put on this display uh, right here. Um, so sometimes at first it does take a minute to uh, actually start um, because it's actually just pulling out all the data off the disk for the first time, but it's uh, shown that it's an okay status on the start. So you can see when I get in the uh, open core boot menu, you can see we're booting into macOS. So this is great if you um, want a clean installation of macOS, but it doesn't need to be macOS. Bearing that in mind, I can create a Windows installation and clone it, a Linux installation and clone it. It's great for doing tests, especially if you're uh, a person like me, you like uh, tinkering with things, trying to make things work, um, and you just want a fresh slate just like this. Um, to tinker around with uh, without affecting your actual main system. Remembering that backups and snapshots still do actually work with this anyway because it's just any other virtual machine once you have cloned that uh, from the template. But you can see we're on the Ventura desktop now and Shermo should appear in the top corner in a moment. Um, you can see that it's got the tick next to it. Move my mouse, you can see we've got Shermo. But you can see if I go on my downloads, for example, and have a look, you can see I've got open core configurator and open core legacy patcher, and then some generic uh, EFI that I haven't modified yet. Um, but basically, you can see it's just basically a Ventura installation, uh, which is brilliant. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like. If you need any help with this, uh, please join the Discord, which is linked below. But thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.